The Philippine education system has been greatly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic in ways we never imagined. It has forced us to simultaneously shift from traditional class setup to contactless modalities which prove our learners' perseverance, resilience, and commitment. Despite these challenges that you our dear learners have to endure in these trying times. You managed to overcome all these trials with such remarkable effort and determination. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Truly today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all rise and give honor and pride in singing our national anthem to be followed by an invocation to be led by Mr. Froilan T. Ditoga. Let us feel and be proud as the home of champions, 
as we listen to the region's homage and be captivated with the Capis hymn. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly and loving Father, we praise and bless your most holy name as we give honor to our students, as we hold our graduation exercises for school year 2021-2022. Thank you for all the blessings, guidance, and protection you bestowed on us during these hard times of COVID-19 pandemic. Lord, inspire the graduates to put good use of all the knowledge, skills, and life lessons they gained through education and help them believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges and difficulties. Bless them with hope so that they can move into the future with eager and open hearts. As they commence with their lives, may they grow ever more grateful and wise with their families and loved ones, and give you honor and glory. We ask this through the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our highly distinguished guests, beloved parents, supportive stakeholders, energetic school principal three, school faculty and staff, students, ladies and gentlemen, a delightful morning and welcome to the second virtual graduation ceremony of the Digario Di Giocampo Senior National High School with the theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Today is the day that you can finally claim the reward of your industry. We, the faculty and staff, together with your parents and the people behind your success, share the same pride, joy, and excitement as we witness you our students finally succeeded this year. So to set this morning's event, please welcome Cassandra V. Adolfo with high honors for her welcome remarks. To our respected schools division superintendent, Dr. Miguel Mac D. Apusin, CESU 5, our very supportive principal three, Mr. Jello A. Udicta, to our head teacher for, and at the same time, our senior high school coordinator, Mr. Joel J. Digoma, to faculty and staff of the Digario D. Campo Senior National High School, visitors, and to my fellow graduates of Batch 2022, a pleasant morning, everyone. Alam natin lahat na hindi naging madali ang mga taong nakalipas, lalo na ang dalawang taon dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic. Madami ang nahirapan dahil sa bagong paraan ng pagtuturo. Mayroon ding umiyak dahil hindi matapos-tapos na modules. Pero ang lahat ng yon ay mga pagsubok na ating nalampasan dahil nandito tayo at magtatapos na ng anim na taon sa high school. Sa ating tema, graduate ng K-12 masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok. K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Sinubok at susubukin pa tayo ng panahon sa so, so mga sumusunod na araw, buwan at taon. Pero tayo ay dapat maging matatag dahil may mga pangarap tayo na gusto nating maabot at makamtan. Sa nakalipas na anim na taong pag-aaras sa paaralan ito, marami tayong mga alaalang na buo. 
mga taong nakilala na naging kaibigan na natin at marami rin tayong mga natutunan mula sa ating mga guro. Sa nakalipas sa dalawang taon sa senior high school, hindi natin naranasan ang face-to-face -face classes. Pero dito natin napatunayan na kaya nating harapin ang anumang pagsubok na dumating, lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya, at naging matatag upang abutin ang ating mga pangarap sa buhay. Sa walang humpay na suporta ng ating pamilya, kaibigan at mga taong na malalapit sa atin, na naging sandalan natin na kahit ilang beses tayong matalis o dumadapa, babangon at babangon pa rin tayo. Kaya sa araw na ito, magdiwang at magsaya tayo dahil sa wakas, tapos na tayo sa high school. Lahat ng ating paghihirap sa paggawa ng mga projects, pagsagot sa mga modules, sa mga kamali ang nagawa sa buhay na sa paunti-unti ay naitawid natin at nagbunga ito ng magandang resulta. So, continue achieving your goals and dreams in life. You may stumble a lot of times, but in the end of the day, you will get up and face all the challenges in life. To all the graduates of school year 2021-2022, we dream together and we achieve together. Welcome to our fifth commencement exercise and second virtual ceremony, Batch 2022. To present our candidates for graduation is no less than our school principal three, Mr. Jiro A. Odikta. This will be followed by the confirmation of graduates by our school's division superintendent, Dr. Miguel Mac D. Apusen, CESO 5. Dr. Miguel Mac D. Apusen, CESO 5. Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Capis. Sir, I have the honor to present to you the 78 students comprising 48 male and 30 female as candidate for graduation for school year 2021-2022. I hereby certify that they have successfully completed all the basic requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education to the Basic Education Senior High School Program, thereby qualified for graduation this school year 2021-2022 for your confirmation, sir. By the authority vested in me as school's division superintendent of the division of copies and upon certification and recommendation of the school head that the candidates for graduation of the school for the school year 2021-2022 under the senior high school strand or strands offered by the school have satisfactorily completed all the minimum requirements for graduation from the senior high school as prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum, I hereby confirm their graduation. Congratulations! After several years of hard work and dedication, it is about time to reward your commitment towards your education and reap the fruit of your labor. The most awaited part of this occasion has finally come the distribution of diploma to our dear graduates, as well as the giving of recognition to those with distinct honors and special awards. To do the honor of presenting the graduates and awardees of the grade 12 Capricorn General Academic Strand with electives in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics of school year 2021-2022. Please welcome their advisor, Mrs. Catherine D. Soliano. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am proud to present to you the Grade 12 Capricorn School Year 2021-2022. Barrientos Guian D. Billiones Marchan D. Bernales Joshua D. Corsino Christian Josh D. With honors. Jocampo Carl Kender D. With honors. Dumapit Chan Ariel A. 
Balyar Mistranjan D. with honors. Ibordi Charlie B. Yodela Marchan A. with honors. Hamison Jawel C. Manalo John Lloyd D. E. with honors. Bagay Aaron B. with high honors. He also received the Senator Manny Villar Excellence Award. Adolfo Cassandra B. with high honors. Kulakos Angie B. Conception Crystal Joy with honors. Cortez Jelleros R. Jocampo Christine B. with honors. Jocampo Pauline F. with honors. De Piedra Princess Joy T. with honors. Deslate Noelin L. Iskuton Nika C. Yudela Catherine A. with high honors. Lores Dayan E. with honors. Sarmiento Pesame F. with honor. Simeon Darlin B. with honors. Solano Hannah B. with honors. Valentino Meisel with honors. Congratulations! The graduates of grade 12 cancer, general academic strength, the electives in humanities and social sciences, class advisor, Ms. Julie May F. Jocampo. The day of your dreams has finally arrived. Presenting the graduates of grade 12 cancer, school year 2021-2022. Azoro Orlando Junior C. Bahada Rodolfo Junior C. Bindol Axel A. Buen viaje Dexter D. Babuhay Jonald C. Kalaging Ronnie A. Arandam Mario Q. Contreras Michael M. De La Cruz Allen P. Dilandao Arjo P. Diparon John Mark R. Deslate John Allen D. Distor Christian M. Dolfo Adrian D. Dolfo Ian Dolor John Michael Doron Jeffrey D Doron Geoffrey D Iglesia Eugene D 
Lanuzo Eugene B. Nupat Reggie D. Peñosa Elron D. Bornales Rochelle P. Kasumpang Francis G. P. De La Cruz Angelica D. Di Latina, Meji F. Deslati, Ira Luna B. Dolor, Rochella May F. Escocio, Raida Marie B. Padua, Gwen D. Villa Rose F. The graduates of grade 12 people, general academic strength, with electives in technical, vocational, and livelihood, bread and pastry production. Advisor, Mrs. Mavi P. Vicente. I am happy and proud to present to you the graduates of Grade 12 Libra. Kabuhay Alvin B. Candelario Ben R. Celino Kenneth A. The Goma Mark Joseph B. The Latina John Mark L. Chocampo Mark B. The Lord John Mark V. The Mustos Rodel R. Ron Butch B. Duron Melmar June B. Escaro Ken Selvin B. Estrada Jean Carlo B. Nopat Raymar M. Rivera Christian D. Akoriba Aramine D. Balasa Benchi D. Celoso Via R. Danielle Ayla Delphine Lawrence B. Tordas Cherit At this moment, let us hear and embrace the virtual message of the Secretary of the Department of Education, Leonor Magdoles Briones, followed by Dr. Ramir B. Oitiko, CESO 3, Regional Director, Department of Education, Region 6, Western Visayas, by our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Miguel Mac B. Apusen, CESO 5, by our Public Schools District Supervisor, Dr. Linda A. Villases, and by our school principal three, Mr. Jiro A. Odikta. My warmest greetings to the school officials, administrators, 
faculty members, and advisors, teachers, parents, and guardians of the graduates and competitors of school year 2021-2022. On behalf of the Department of Education, I am proud to celebrate the successes, milestones, and achievements of this batch graduates and promoted students in this year's end of school year rights with the theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. In the past six years, we committed to our mandate to enhance the quality of education, broaden its access, and ensure its relevance in the rapidly changing world. The Ed endeavored to address each challenge by instituting programs and reforms in the department. We have fully implemented the K-12 curriculum and the aggressive reforms of Sulong Educalidad to produce globally competitive learners and teachers. We also expanded our mission for accessible education by strengthening the alternative learning system and the last mile schools programs to reach more Filipinos. Likewise, we also established the National Academy of Sports and Education Features Unit to create more opportunities for our learners and anticipate the future of education system in the country. Committed to sustaining this momentum, the department developed and implemented the Basic Education Learning Continuity Program, where we offered various learning modalities and produced award-winning initiatives such as the DepEd TV and the DepEd Commons at the height of the pandemic. Eventually, the department held its ground against an unprecedented challenge in basic education as we progressively expand the reintroduction of face-to-face -face classes in the country. Indeed, education is truly a shared responsibility. This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for being our partners in nurturing the youth throughout the years. Of the class of 2022, resilience is in your blood. You have survived one of the toughest times in human history, yet still embrace education as your primary tool to success. I believe that with your passion and purpose, you can reach your dreams and change the world. May you keep on harnessing and imparting the wisdom as together, we will build a nation of competent global citizens and future leaders. The brilliance of DepEd Region 6, Western Visayas, the home of the champions. The man behind the institutionalization of the regional mantra, every child is a champion. An advocate of sustainable economy and food security translated into the establishment of farm schools. A champion of teacher leadership through the establishment of School Heads Academy in Region 6. An initiator of educational innovation showdown across the region. The champion of champions. Dr. Ramir Barbera Noitico, SESO 3. My warmest congratulations to the completers and graduates of school year 2021-2022. To finish an academic year during this time of uncertainty is tough, but to outshine any challenge, 
brings a step closer to one's aspirations and dreams. Flourishing and thriving through unforeseen tests without breaking makes one a true champion. And these have been proven in the midst of the pandemic and all remain victorious. My dear learners, always listen to your inner gods and goddesses. Follow your path and be the shakers who change the future and accept failures but come back strong. Do not stop surging for your success and what you can achieve tomorrow. And you will be beautifully change the landscape of your future because you come from Region 6, where every child is a champion. This year's theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, emphasizes that there is no greater joy in surpassing a year of challenged learning experiences. The knowledge you have acquired through unconventional modes is a proof that success defeats glitches. We thank the teachers, parents, and all members of the family, friends, education leaders, local executives, and the whole community for their relentless effort and persistence in molding the bright future of these learners. Together we unite, together we dream, and together we produce champions. Once again, congratulations. My heartfelt felicitations to the graduates and completers of school year 2021-2022. As always, completing a particular level of the educational ladder is a great success and a reason for jubilation. More so when the milestone was achieved under extraordinary and trying circumstances like what our graduates and completers of this school year have gone through. The pandemic brought tremendous challenges to the world and the education sector in particular. Pursuing their educational endeavors in the midst of these adversities proved so much resilience and perseverance on their part. The theme of this year's end of school year rights, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity aptly describes and recognizes our graduates and completers. It is our hope that they will continue to exhibit these traits as they pursue their chosen path in life. As we congratulate our graduates and completers, we also extend our gratefulness to all those who journeyed with them in this endeavor. We sincerely thank their parents and other family members, friends, school officials, teachers, community leaders, and the many partners and stakeholders of our schools who contributed much in making this achievement possible for them. Truly, their manifestations of love and support are a significant source of strength and encouragement for all who toil for the formation of our young people through quality, relevant, and liberating basic education. Lastly, in behalf of the entire DepEd Capis Division, congratulations and may God bless us all. My warmest greetings to all the graduates of school year 2021-2022. It is our goal to ensure good quality education even in these difficult times of new normal school year due to pandemic COVID-19. The knowledge you gained from the blended learnings such as modular, online learning activity sheets, and other performance assessments 
with the help and guidance of your parents, mentors, teachers, school heads, and deputy officials have equipped you with the desired learnings and skills you need to face the challenges and opportunities of the 2000 century education. As you leave the portals of your alma mater, may you continue to uphold the core values of the Department of Education. Maka Diyos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa as your guiding values in your next journey in life. Try to pursue your dreams and continue to foster resiliency in the face of adversity in life and in your pursuit for educational enhancement. Congratulations! We wish you all the best and a blissful life ahead of you. I compassionately congratulate you, my dear graduates of BATS 2022 for completing your senior high school years despite of your difficult voyage this pandemic time. It is with great delight that you have achieved successfully at this stage of your life's journey. Your competence and confidence help you excel as an achiever even you are learning at home. With your great connection and humble character towards your parents and teachers, they help you cope with your modular learnings. You have been in control of your mastery of learning. And with this year's team, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity, naging masigasig at matatag kayo na abutin ang inyong mga pangarap sa kabila ng hamon at pagsubok na inyong kinakaharap. We are proud of you, our dear graduates. With that, we would like to give our warmest gratitude and congratulations as well to the parents and all the members of your family who acted as your mentors or coaches to you, you our dear learners, to the teachers who repeatedly support and have been active to cater your concerns despite of the distance. To the local executives, community, and alumni in giving you full support through their donations. And with that, we have successfully accomplished our necessities during our modular distance learning. And to all others who have been part of our learners' educational endeavor this time of pandemic. Just stand on, my dear graduates. Pursue your dreams and continue to be brave as you face your journey in life. Congratulations and mabuhay kayo, BATS 2022! To introduce our dignified guest speaker, please welcome Mr. Froilan T. Ditoga. Yudigario Di Jocampo Senior National High School Teachers Association President. Today, I am greatly delighted and honored to introduce to you our eminent guest speaker. To our respected schools division superintendent, Dr. Miguel Mac D. Aposin, CISO 5. To our esteemed Principal 3, Jero A. Odicta. To our amiable head teacher 4, Joel J. Digoma. To our cooperative faculty and staff, guests, family, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning and welcome to our fifth commencement exercises and second virtual ceremony of school year 2021-2022. Our guest speaker for today graduated his elementary at Kapagaw Elementary School with honors. And we are proud to say that he graduated his secondary in our admirable institution, Ludigario Di Campo Senior National High School, and received a recognition as third honorable mention. He graduated his Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering 
at Capi State University main campus. Unfortunately, I'm proud to reveal that he had acquired two licenses as registered master electrician and master electrical engineer. Currently, he is working as electrical head, electrical engineer in two companies owned by the same employer, NDK Car Trading OPC and Savino Autoworks Incorporated. Our distinguished guest speaker for today is a resident of Barangay Kalaan, Panitan Capis, 28 years old and single. He is no other than our very own alumni, Engineer Bonmark I. Dorda. To the faculty and staff of the Divide Campo Senior National High School, to the parents, guests, graduates, a pleasant day to each and everyone. I am very happy and grateful that it is a pleasure for me to make a speech today. Actually, for the second time around, itong request sa akin. Last year na na-invite na din ako pero hindi ko na-accept due to my previous work which have a very busy schedule. It's a challenge also for me because it is my first time to have a speech celebration at sa alma mater ko pa. Although this is an online setup, alam naman natin kung gaano hirap ang setup natin ito dahil sa pandemic. Each one of us needs to have double or triple ang pag-iingat sa mga viruses na ito but although we are having hard time, the day have come. Your day. One of your special day. This is one of your most memorable event that can happen in your life. Today is the day, it is a day to celebrate one of your achievements in life with your families and friends. A day you've been waiting for since you entered school. For some of you, it is the last step in your education for now. Due to financial status or personal reasons na hindi makapagpapursu sa next step. Next step which is college or don't, don't give up huwag kayong mawala ng pag-asa don't lose hope and attain a higher education in your very best right time for many of you this graduation ceremony is just a next step in your graduation you're headed to a university or a college and get a course which you want to pursue a career that you dream since day one at school Ang iba sa inyo gusto maging doktor, nurse, seaman, teacher, police, businessman, businesswoman, architect, engineer, at kung ano pa. Excited ma-explore ang city o ang ibang lugar kung saan may pagpatuloy nyo ang inyong pag-aaral. But for all of you, as you take your cups and gowns you're wearing today, and once you receive your diplomas, remember this. That that diploma you receive today is like your insurance policy with premium. Paid in full by your hard work for over the past years. You will appreciate the value of the policy depends on how much effort you put into your education and what you do with it as you go on. Meaning, ang um, value ng yung diploma ay yung ma-appreciate depende kung paano o anong effort ang inyong binigay sa bawat araw sa inyong school days. Kung anong mga hirap ang inyong naranasan, mga pinagdaanan hanggang sa araw na ito. Since the school years were online and module set up, Nakikita ko kung gaano kahirap sa isang estudyante ang mag-aral, lalo na sa lugar natin. Sa time namin, ang kaharap namin kapag masak ng assignment ay ang aming libro. The library serves as our Google. Wala pa masyadong access internet that time. 
alam ko kung gaano kay hirap ang mag-research ng mga topics ng lessons niyo mga topics na hindi mo maintindihan I remember also na kapag pumapasok kami kapunta sa school halos lahat naglalakad ang take note masayang naglalakad kasi makikita mo halos buong kalsada mapuno ng estudyante minsan makakasabay mo pa ang mga teacher mo kapunta sa school isa yun sa mga memories ko that time At alam kong maraming nahirapan sa setup na ito pero worth it naman di ba? that you see your names na nasa graduating list yung isa ka sa mga top students with high honors worth it ang paglalakad papunta sa school para makakuha or makapagpasa ng module worth it ang pagsasideline makagain lang ng pera para may pambili ng gagamitin sa school worth it ang pagod ng nanay at ng tatay at syempre, worth it ang makita kayo ng inyong mga teachers na gra-graduate sa paaralang ito. At syempre, wala kayo dito ngayon kung hindi kayo nag-aaral ng sikap na mabuti sa inyong pag-aaral. Last part of my speech, I just want you to remember this, graduates of batch 2021-2022. Huwag natin kalimutan ang mga tao na tumulong sa atin para makarating sa araw na ito sa dyan ang ating magulang the parents that put a lot of sacrifices and hard works si nanay at si tatay na pumayod araw-araw masuporta lang lang ang inyong mga pangangailangan si nanay at si tatay na naluluha umiiyak sa tuwing wala silang maibigay na pera pag meron tayong kailangan bilhin personal needs man o uh, sa school si nanay si tatay na nag-aalala pag tayo ay late na na uwit alam ko mostly sa ating mga parents hindi lang natin nakikita at ayaw lang ipakita sa atin na sila ay nahihirapan din sure ako sa mga oras na ito ay proud sila sa inyo sa mga oras na ito, ang mga parents natin ay may mga ngiti sa kanilang mga mukha. Mga ngiti at kasiyahan na hindi matutumbas na ng kahit anong material na bahagay. Mga ngiti at kasiyahan na dulot ng pagmamahal nila sa inyo. Kung nasa tabi nyo ngayon ang inyong mga magulang, please, I order you to hug them. Please hug them. Order po ito, hindi ito o. Uh, utos po ito dahil sa isang yakap lang ninyo sa inyong mga magulang ay sobrang 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 kaligayahan at pagmamahal ang may paparamdam sa kanila huwag din natin kalimutan ang ating mga teachers they put also a lot of hard work and they been through on a very challenging and stressful setup due to this pandemic na nangyari take note, hindi lang po pandemic may bagyo pa kung kayo mga students ay nabahaan at nahirapan well sila rin po may mga teachers po tayo dito na nabahaan ng bahay mga printed na modules at school records nyo na nabasa ng tubig imagine nyo yung modules nyo na nahihirapan kayong gumawa sa isang subject pa lang much more sa mga teachers na may isang subject tapos may 13 students na need ang printing modules na yun imagine that yung stress na yung stress nyo sa isang module na yun sila 30 times ang stress na nararanasan para sa module ng isang, ng isang subject ng isang section paano kung may apat na subject sa teacher diba mas lalong stress sila at also, huwag din natin kalimutan si Lord. Lagi natin pasalamatan si Lord sa araw-araw. All things happens for a reason. Bear that in your minds. All things happens for a reason. Si Lord, binigyan tayo ng problems na alam niya na kaya natin malampasan. 
Kung sasabi nyo man sa inyong mga sarili na hindi, hindi nyo kaya, or suko na kaya, remember lang always na may reason kung bakit natin naranasan yun. Siya lang ang nakakaalam. Once again, congratulations to the batch 2021-2022 of with the Gary Tidjo Campus Senior National High School. A message of gratitude from Aaron B. Pagat with high honors. First of all, glory to God for allowing us to celebrate the significant event of our lives. Through Him, all things are possible. Our guests, family, friends, faculty and staff of this institution, our respected school's division superintendent, Dr. Miguel Mac D. Aposin, SASU 5, our amiable head teacher for Sir Joel J. Igoma, our esteemed head of the school, Sir Jero A. Udita, and most of all, to the distinguished class of 2022, a pleasant morning to each and every one. Today is our fifth commencement exercise and our second virtual ceremony, and I'm honored to be here to commemorate the memories and accomplishments of our great class. Today, in our upside down world, let us heed a simple advice from an upside down world author, Dr. Seuss. When something bad happens, you have three choices. You can either let it define you, let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. I always thought our class memories would be defined inside a normal classroom environment. Instead, COVID-19 came in a clutch. Who would have expected that a virus would make our last years in senior high school different? Sadly, we were not able to experience some activities that we normally do during a school year. There were no after-school prompts with friends. There were no going to Uncle Danilo's sari-sari store or canteen to buy our favorite foods. And there were no kulitan with our teachers during and after class. And lastly, there were no more last goodbye hugs to each and every one of us in our usual end-of-the-year party. This graduation recognizes the entire admirable body of achievement of those receiving their diplomas today. We celebrate what got us here, projects, outputs, and exams. This pandemic did not erase our teenage achievements, nor did the pandemic destroy our spirits and talents. It simply diverted them to new pursuits. I can say that this pandemic taught me the value of me and the value of growing mentally, as well as respecting others wherever they are. Even though we're in the midst of this pandemic, it didn't stop us to continue gaining knowledge and learning. As we experience the new normal education, specifically the modular printed distance learning, we have faced innumerable challenges and encountered different difficulties. But because of our will to succeed, we surpassed it all. We may have thought of giving up at the middle of the stormy days, but our dreams were bigger than our problems. We say, ayoko na, but our actions did, laban pa. With our today's team, graduate ng K-12, masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. What's good with us Filipinos is our resiliency. We can easily recover from any mishaps. We stand up after tumbling into hardships, bringing with us new lessons we've learned. We stand up through challenges bolder than before. It is because we see failures as our building blocks towards forming a better version of ourselves. To all my teachers, thank you for being part of my journey. Thank you for your dedication, hard work, and passion. To the people who have been the biggest inspiration in my life, Mama and Papa, Thank you, Paul. Also, to the three breadwinners of our family, Nang Rima, Nang Roxanne, and Nang Merikris, a massive thank you for all you have done to help me become who I am. You were there since the beginning, helping me to stand up and supporting me every step of the way. Palanga ugit kamo. To all my friends, especially to my Gold Squad family, thank you for accepting me for being who truly I am. I will forever cherish the memories, both laughter and pain, we shared together. To my fellow graduates, 
We end up another glorious chapter of our lives and a new one will begin. New adventures, new friendships, and new series of struggles. Along the way were many uncertainties, but certain beacons of light will show us the right path to take. Let us most of all thank God for His unceasing grace and guidance. With you all, we were able to reach this end before. And with that, we can finally say, we made it! Thank you and congratulations, Class of 2022! To lead the oath of loyalty to her fellow graduates is Catherine A. Udella, with high honors. My fellow graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Pledge of loyalty. I, Catherine Akma Udella, do solemnly swear that I will uphold the honor of my alma mater, the Rigaro Dijo Campo Senior National High School. I vow to cherish the dignity of labor and do faithfully all my duties with industry, perseverance, and honesty. I vow to exercise all the skills, knowledge, and abilities which I have acquired for the betterment of myself, for the welfare of my family, and for the service of my country. So help me God. To inspire us with their class community song, the graduates would like to render to us the song, This World is Yours, by Julie Dustin. seems so big and everything seems so out of reach the sky is high and the walk is wide you just don't know what you've got yet it's in the palm of your hands it's right in front of Stand if you believe everything you dream will come true. And if you can love, no matter how you hurt, love will come to you, back to you. This world is yours. 
to our dear alma mater. We are forever indebted to you. You watch us grow and witness us into responsibly young adults. We are very grateful that we became predecessors of goodwill in this school. To so our teachers, faculty, and staff who join together and serve us throughout our journey. We are truly grateful for everything you've done for us. To our loving parents and guardians, thank you for understanding that the only inheritance you could dedicate to us was this education. Your support and unconditional love are highly appreciated. To our amazing classmates, friends, and schoolmates, the past years have made us more than friends. We are family. Despite the pandemic, we have reached the peak of success. Above all, to our Almighty God, we are very grateful that you strengthen and guide us as we face the struggles and challenges in the pursuit of quality education amid pandemic. 